Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to learn how to insert time in Pro Tools. So the insert time function in Pro Tools, you're going to be using this a lot, especially when you're um, during the pre-production of a song. You're testing ideas, okay? You're playing, let's say, a, an idea that you think is going to be a verse or maybe a chorus, and then you think like, well, yeah, I like that, but I wish I could have a couple more bars in the middle and maybe do another line of something. Um, perhaps like a harmony or something like that, maybe a solo. So basically, every time you have some kind of structure and you want to add information or add bars in the middle of that structure, you're going to have to insert time. So um, basically, the way you do it, um, you would, let's say, uh, go on your, on your timeline and let's suppose that you want to add time or insert time here on bar two and... If you, let's say you want to, you have this this piano here, okay? This is a MIDI, um, some MIDI chords that I just recorded there. But let's say that you want to add some, um, like a couple of bars, you know, a couple of bars of time, just blank, so you can add whatever in the middle. You simply press your, or you click on it, so your playback is there. And then you can go once again to the event menu, time, and then we're going to go insert time. So, uh, here it is, time operations, enter time. So, uh, as you can see, it says that it's going to start on that bar. Okay, bar 2, beat 1, it's going to end there. Now, what it, does, what it means is that, basically, you're going to have some kind of, um, you're going to have a certain length, and that's what matters here the most. So, if you do, let's say, length, let's say you do 2. You're basically telling Pro Tools um, that you're going to add 2, um, two bars, okay? In bar two, you're going to add two bars. So basically, whatever we had on bar two, it's going to move to bar four because you're going to have a two bars of blank space. Now, you have the chance to, when you do that, to realign the meter ruler only or the meter and the tempo, the key, the chord rulers, okay? By default, that's the case. Now, when you add that time, you can also tell Pro Tools what kind of meter you're going to have. By default, if this is off, okay, it'll just go 4x4, four four, but you can also change that if you want. So if we press apply, here what, here's what happened. As you can see, on bar 2, it added two bars. So bar 2, bar 3, and then bar 4, that's where our previous information was. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Um, edit undo. And I'm going to repeat it. So you basically set your playback where you want the time to be inserted. Let's say bar two. And then you go back to event, time operations, enter time. And then you set your length, let's say length uh, three. And then you press apply. And that's it. It just added three bars of blank time. So you can do a record or program whatever you want in that time frame. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and, Audio La and PC Audio Labs, and we will be happy to help you. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.